This is Michael F. April, the amazing composer of almost all the themes in Dead by Daylight. And if there is something we can all agree on is that the music of this game is absolutely fantastic. Well, most of the time. So today, I will be giving my opinion and ranking every single chase theme that has been composed for the game, including the unused ones. And just to make this video a bit more special, I will be adding some fun facts anytime I know of one. And by the way, music is subjective, so if you have any problem with me, please let me know the way you would unalive me in the comments section below. Without further delay, let's start listening to the chase themes. Starting off with what is potentially the worst ever chase theme created for the game, we have the Ghostface original PTB composition, which is commonly known as the washing machine theme. It was so bad that this is the only chase theme I distinctly remember various streamers reacting negatively to, and it was actually bad that some players claimed it was giving them headaches. The Ter Radio theme is actually really good, and I think the point of this chase theme was to just be heard 5 seconds into a chase, as it fit Ghostface pretty well as the complete silence and then abrupt chaos that happens when you get exposed fits him. The problem is that Ghostface is an M1 killer, so most of your chases for the majority of the player base will be longer than 5 seconds. I also heard that this theme is a reference to one scene in the original Scream movie, as it also had an abrupt high pitched noise, so take a listen yourself. However, this scene only lasts 10 seconds in a full movie, so it's not as annoying as the in-game version. If you were one of the players that liked this chase theme, let me ask you a question. Why? Now, don't get me wrong. I think the nurse music is good and it's not headache inducing like the previous one, so let me explain why I hate it. There are two types of chase music in this game, the ones that build up on the third radius layers and the ones that have a different composition on the chase team. This is the second type and it makes the chase team sound completely disconnected from the third radius layers as it sounds way too intense, in a way this chase theme fits the gamified version of the nurse, a character that can teleport to you in seconds and end chases instantly. It's a chase theme composed for the S tier killer that's been dominating the game for years and not the character of the nurse, a creepy floating woman with a tragic past. I think there are characters that achieve this way better. I wish her chase theme had heavy focus on being creepy and distressing, like her menu theme is which is a completely different vibe to her chase team. Another character that suffers the same fate as the nurse, in my personal opinion, is the reworked version of Ghostface chase theme, which was changed after the immense backlash the original received. I think this chase theme is one of the most generic ones in the game, when I hear most of the other chase ones, I can immediately tell what the character is supposed to be about, and we will see examples of it further in this video. When I hear this chase, it doesn't give me Ghostface vibes at all, nor does it transmit anything about the character for me, it just doesn't stand out nor it's iconic, which is kinda sad considering the third radius sounds really good, but since Ghostface is a stealth killer, you won't be hearing it much. Ok, I will admit that I am biased and also I am a hypocrite, I simply don't like the Doctor's Chase team, because it feeds the character too well, it's chaotic in nature, it tells you who the Doctor is and his dynamic, and it is also the first ever chase team that was created for an older killer, and thus 
This was the start of behavior going back to add more polish for old characters. I think this chase team is perfect for the Doctor and I wouldn't change it in any way. It's just that for me and for my ears, I don't like it. Now, fun fact, the live version of this theme was not the one Doctor had in the PTB, as players complained that the original was way too jarring and repetitive, so the devs changed it. If you're curious, this is how the original PTP version sounded like. In my opinion, the live version is significantly better. Next up, we have the contender for the shortest chase loop in the entire game, the Hag. I swear this theme sounds like just 4 seconds of tribal drums that keep repeating themselves with no variation or change, and you are probably already tired of hearing it. And the worst part is that the terror radius of the Hag is really cool, because they are entire minutes of variations of the same loop, but you won't be hearing this ever because Hag has a very small terror radius, nobody plays as her, and also her power leads to chases starting instantly, which admittedly this intense percussion fits her power. And just like the chase team starts out of nowhere for survivors, for some reason it also ends abruptly whenever you are playing as her, which annoys me a lot. Just take a listen. I find it so jarring, and I don't know if it's intended to be that way or not, but this is the only chase team in the entire game that does this. I guess by now you can see that I don't like repetitive themes. For those of you that might be new at the game, the theme you heard is the PTB version of the Xenomorph. And let me tell you, for a lot of players, this DLC was almost perfect. The issue was the lack of likeness of Ellen Ripley and the absurdly repetitive chase theme for Xenomorph. It literally sounds like an alarm constantly going off while someone is drilling in the back. But the reason why it sounds like that is because it's literally an alarm going off. The Nostromo self-destruct alarm. The emergency destruct system is now activated. The ship will detonate in T minus 10 minutes. So in a way, it's a cool reference, which is why I kinda like this theme compared to the others in this video. You know, if I got a scent for each time a futuristic killer came with an extremely repetitive alarm chase team, I would have two scents. However, unlike Alien, Singularity is now stuck with this team, which admittedly I kinda dig it, but I cannot deny that this is the same alarm constantly blaring which makes playing a Singularity even more stressful than it already is. And the worst part is that it fits this character well. After all, we are playing an advanced AI using a robotic body, so having alarms constantly going fits this character, unlike the Xenomorph. And this theme also improves a lot when you are in-game, as his robotic sounds as well as his trash talking add to this theme in a positive way. And again, many players don't know this, but the live version of Singularity is not the same as the theme he had in the PTB. The one in the PTB was, in fact, a bit worse. Take a listen. Even if you dislike going against the school merchant, you have to admit that the drums go hard on this team. But again, this one suffers the same problem Nurse and Ghostface have, and in my personal opinion, this doesn't fit School Merchant as well as another composed theme would. Whenever you hear this, you can kinda get the vibe that the killer is from Brazil maybe, but that's it. 
I personally don't hear how this team belongs to a multi-millionaire weeb that uses technology to chase CEOs and use their schools as drones. It doesn't tell me anything about her personality either, which is a fail for me because the terror radius actually does. Just take a listen. This theme you're hearing is her first layer and it fits her so well. It gives me industrial, techno vibes and at the same time it sounds sassy. This screams Adriana for me. And then we go back to her chase team with the drums. I hope you understand my problem with this chase one because this comparison is the best proof of what I am talking about. Funnily enough, her original theme before the rework fit her way more than the one we got now, as it had a repetitive and annoying alarm that the very least fits with the theme of drones and scanning survivors. Of course, it was changed because, you guessed it, it was annoying and the fourth chase team in a row that had complaints. I will always call this period the Dark Ages of Dead by Daylight's chase teams. And hey, talking about Dark Ages. Hearing the knight's theme by itself doesn't give justice to it, as the clanking of his armor as well as the sounds of his guards add a lot to it, but I still have a problem with his chase theme, and that is simply that it doesn't sound as good as it could have been to me. It sounds evil, and I love the metallic hits that sound like someone smithing a weapon or an armor, but I dislike that the theme completely changes in the chase part and it doesn't build up from the terror radius, which sounds good but not outstanding. I guess I was expecting something more Dark Souls and epic, similar to other killers in this video, and instead we got a theme that sounds almost generic but fitting for a medieval character. The Clown was the third character that got a rework and a chase theme from the past making it one of the oldest themes in this video. And what is interesting about it is that the chase theme has a military drill vibe, march band type of beat, which is fitting considering the clown was originally going to be a soldier. I also love how the terror radius builds up. It first starts like you're hearing a fairground from far away, and the closer you come to the clown, the more creepy and distorted the chase theme sounds, which is fitting for his disorienting killer power. Only problem is that, compared to other chase teams, it's just good. Not a masterpiece, but I have no complaints about it. Hillbilly, to the surprise of everyone, got a new chase team, the same patch where the overheat mechanic was introduced, and to this day, he is the only one from the original trio with an exclusive theme. When will Wraith get a theme behavior? Well, going back to Billy, this chase theme is solid and I love the chainsaw sounds in the third radius as well as the chase. It's intense, which is fitting for the character. But honestly, for me personally, this chase theme could have been a default one. It's simple, but I guess that was the point, since Billy is a default character and also a very simple one. Cenobite's chase for many players is one of the most unique themes in the game. There is simply nothing like it, and I guess it fits Cenobite, but I like other chase themes more, and I am not familiar with the Hellraiser universe. That's it, I honestly don't have much to say. Before I mention anything, I have to say that the artist Terry Reduce is by far one of my favorites in the game, in specific Layer 2, and I want you to take a listen to it, since artist is not played that much.
This was the first time in a long while where I was stunned by how creepy it was. But back to the chase team, which has the same thing as Xenobite, it's unique and super fitting for the artist and there is nothing like it in the game. With this one, I love how chaotic it sounds, similar to the feeling of being swarmed by crows everywhere, like in her power. It's also dramatic, like a fairy tale. But we all have to admit that this is a repetitive theme that suffers the same problem of all the themes I rated lower in this video. High pitch sound that constantly repeats, yet for some reason this theme is not as annoying for me compared to the rest. I wish the nurse got a theme that was like this, focused on creepiness instead of it being so aggressive and percussion based. Gotta admit, at first I didn't like the Onrios chase team because it sounded super aggressive, like this team could feed the Oni with no problems, and I thought that since Sadako was a ghost, a creepier theme like Xenobite or Artist would have fit more. But then, I loved how all the community decided that the buzzing noise is the flies that surround her body that is stuck in the well, and now that I know more about Sadako, the more I enjoy the aggressive chase team, because it fits her, she is an Onryo, and she has the right to be pissed at everyone after what she had suffered. And the best part about her third videos, in my opinion, is what Michael did in the first layer of the theme. Take a listen and pay close attention to it. If you didn't notice, her first layer sounds like ocean waves crashing into the shore, with the theme of the sea being very predominant in her character and perk design. I think this detail is so good. In every single video that I saw ranking chase teams, the default ones were always rated as one of the lowest or most mid chase teams in the game. And while the positioning of this chase theme in the video is indeed the middle of all chase themes, I have to say that no matter how old they are, they are absolute bangers. This is Dead by Daylight for me, the classic chase themes that in my opinion are the most iconic out of all the themes here and prove that choosing Michael April as the composer for the game was a great decision. It's also cool how the default killers are the only ones that have two different chase themes and three different terror radiuses whenever they play, which gives more variety than all the killers with unique chase teams only having one. And since we're here, I think the default theme is way better than the chase team of Ghostface, Nurse and Hillbilly. Now I won't be talking about each of them because that would extend the video length by quite a lot, so in short, I love all of them and I think they are well composed and actually feed various characters at the same time. Now obviously, Something composed specifically for a character is better most of the time, so I'm still waiting for Huntress, Wraith and Plague to receive their own themes. But I also fear that they end up worse than the defaults, because the bar has been set up quite high. And hey, if you're still watching this video, then I would really appreciate it if you could like or subscribe, as I would love to grow my channel this year. Thank you in advance. Be careful who you call ugly in middle school, because they might get a glow up just like the Xenomorph chase team did. It went from being a 2 second loop of repetitive alarm noises to a full on composition that lasts at minimum 30 seconds before looping again, making it one of the longest loops in the game. It's crazy to think how fast the chase team came out, which makes you wonder, did Michael compose this team originally? which means that most characters get various chase teams, or did he do it in a period of only 3 weeks? Also, the third layer ambience is fantastic and super creepy, take a listen yourself. Back up. Back up. 
Chucky surprised us all, not only because nobody expected him to be a killer in Dead by Daylight, but also because Chucky was finally a return to good chase teams. Now, something I do have to mention is that layer 3 of this theme is insanely good and a lot of players prefer it over the chase music, even claiming that it's bad. Take a listen. But, in my opinion, the chase fits Chucky very well. It's like a corrupted version of a Christmas commercial while at the same time being like something from the age period of the movie. The Dredge has one of those chase themes that I enjoyed more and more with each chase I made. I also heavily recommend this video by Boosted Composer that goes more in detail about why this chase theme is so cool. In short, the percussion is insane and I love the voices added to it which remind you that you're being chased by a black void filled with souls and meat. Add in the sounds the dredge makes while in a chase and the noises of the lockers being broken when you teleport to them and it just adds up to one of the most intense and cool chase themes in the game. I just love how primal it sounds, like it's a sect performing a ritual while it's summoning a monster. The Spirits Chase Team Now, this is how you do a chase team for a tragic character that is also aggressive. This is what the nurse should have gotten instead of a purely aggressive chase. We have a combination of the spirit's lore, the fact that she is pissed at every single human being and at the same time we can feel that something is wrong in this chase, like the fact that we are being chased by a ghost with floating limbs. You might also hear a focus on bells for this theme, which is something you would expect from a character like Wraith, but these fit her theme super well, because in Japan, based around the Shinto religion, Bells are always used in order to scare the evil away, as well as ward off any evil spirits, which adds to the intensity of this chase team. It sounds like no matter how many times you ring the bell, this evil spirit cannot be warded off. When you heard that they are going to add a K-pop killer in Dead by Daylight, a lot of us expected the chase theme to sound artistic, or like a remix version of a fan-made K-pop song, something more musical, like the vast majority of chase themes. But instead, what we got ended up as one of the most terrifying chase themes in the entire game. This doesn't sound harmonic at all, it sounds like pure chaos, a synthesizer constantly being repeated and the high pitch of a siren going all off, but what makes this chase seem different from the rest is that it is possible that the trickster composed this. After all, according to his lore, he used the screams of his victims as part of his music, only completely synthesized so the listeners didn't find out. It's crazy to think how the most normal looking killer has the most disturbing chase team in the entire game, which fits his trickster persona. He might look normal outside, but once you get chased by him, that's when you discover just how messed up this killer truly is. This, in my opinion, is a horror masterpiece and the only chase song in the game that has a chaotic nature applied to it without sounding annoying like the doctor. The only reason I didn't rank it higher is because outside of making this video, I wouldn't listen to this in my spare time because I am not a psychopath. Buckle up because there is a lot to talk about this theme. First of all, Demogorgon was the second killer ever to receive a custom chase theme after Michael Myers and the start of a new tradition where all killers after would receive their own theme. Second of all, 
This chase team got a lot of changes with updates. Originally, in the PTB, Demogorgon's chase team was different with a more high-pitched alarm sound added to it. Take a listen. Later on, a different chase team was found in the PTB, which ended up being unused, which had an even worse alarm applied to it. Here, take a listen for yourself. And finally, we got the live version of the chase, but with a twist. Originally, when you were playing as Demogorgon, you didn't hear the chase part of the theme, as it was reserved only for survivors. Instead, you had to listen to layer 2 of the chase, and the veterans who remember playing on Demogorgon's release will know what I am talking about. In fact, you can check all the gameplays and you will confirm it yourself. This chase theme is perfect, especially if you watched Stranger Things, as it perfectly encompasses the music of that show. It sounds like something out of this world, which fits the Demogorgon well, or first ever creature as a killer, instead of it being another human with a mask. Add in the screams that the Demogorgon does, and this song is just really good. Sadly, not a lot of you might hear this chase theme because it belongs to the twins, a killer that is so forgotten I actually forgot about them myself while making this video. But something undeniable is that their chase theme is fantastic. I love how the composer made it so that the strings sound like a baby is crying, portraying Victor and how he used to cry while Charlotte and her mother had to run from the witch hunters. But I like how instead of it being a fully tragic chase team, it's more aggressive. It's like Charlotte is tired of running all her life, and now it's time to hunt survivors and prevent Victor from crying anymore. For me, this is the most underrated chase team in the entire vid. Pyramid Head's team is very special, because it is the first, and as far as I am aware, the only chase team that was composed with the help of another artist. In this case, this stereo radius was composed alongside Akira Yamaoka, the original composer of the Silent Hill video games, and as such, it's impossible for me to claim that this song doesn't fit the vibes of Silent Hill or Pyramid Head. It sounds metallic, industrial, as if the drums were replaced with hammers beating metal. The low distorted sounds add to the chaos of this chase, but at the same time it has a melody. It actually sounds like a song and not pure noise. But I have a huge, potentially hot take to say here, and that is that no matter how many times I listen to this chase, I still prefer the original PTB version way more. And yes, you might not know this, but Pyramid Head had a different song during the PTB, so here it is and I will let you compare yourself. I just absolutely love the bells and I thought it made Pyramid Head's chase super unique, especially when you consider it to be one of the longest loops in the entire game as it's 40 seconds instead of it being 3 or 10 like the hug or the artist. However, it was a change approved by Akira Yamaoka, so I have to respect it since it's his creation. If Rage and Fury had a chase theme, then that has to be the Onis. No other theme comes close in terms of representing a one-man army like the Oni does, and when you compare the two medieval warriors, it's clear how the Oni wins by a landslide. You can feel the rage with each percussion hit, or the horns constantly reminding you that this is a trained warrior that can end you in one swipe, and it's only thanks to the entity that survivors even have a chance against him. It is also the chase team that sounds the most Japanese, compared to Onryo or Sadako. I find it very interesting how Michael was able to compose three chase teams dedicated to Japanese killers and make each one of them significantly different from each other. Now something interesting that I have to note 
is that the Oni was the first killer to receive a completely different composition to his chase team. And in fact, back when you played as him, just like the Demogorgon, you heard the chase team of the second composition instead of the first. This PTB theme was way more focused on the percussion side, and I think it honestly fit the killer side way more compared to the intensity of the live version. However, one day, this simply changed, and this version was lost forever. It's kinda like if Michael Myers were to be a Japanese samurai. And hey, now that we're talking about him... As many of you already know, Michael was the first killer to receive his own chase team under Radius, making him one of the most unique killers back in the days. It was like a privilege that only he got, considering that it took up until Demogorgon for other killers to receive their own. As such, it's a theme that has been with us for 7 years and to this day, I am not tired of it. It is a direct reference to the movies and it fits perfectly with Michael Myers. There is not a single change I would have done to it. But, funnily enough, this was not the original version that was composed for him, as it was found in a developer build accidentally released back in 2016 that Myers was going to have an extra layer to his chase team, and you can hear this in use layer here. I personally like the live version way more than the Unused one, but I find it really curious to know that there have been Unused teams in the past, and maybe some of our beloved killers got completely different chase teams compared to the first drafts. I wish we could hear all the different chase versions of each killer behind the scenes, but hey, you can't get everything in life. The Blight's Chase Team is the song that grew the most on me. At first, it was one of the first teams that had a different vibe to it. Instead of aggressive, it was a mixture of both. It was cinematic, almost like movie quality, unlike the video game themes of before. It mixed the tragic past of the Blight, a smart man, with the fury and aggression of now, when he became a mindless monster who can only bounce around walls. And it's when I noticed this percussion detail that skyrocketed the chase team a lot for me. See, I originally thought that the chase was good and it fit the character of the Blight, but it didn't fit the gameplay of it, so like a reverse case of the nurse. But that's when it was pointed out for me that the percussion of this chase team replicates the hits Blight would do while chasing you. You can hear them yourself. Each time the big hit comes in, it sounds like Blight just rushed towards you and he is getting closer. This is one of the chase teams that actually fit perfectly with the power of the killer and the character, making it perfect in my eyes. I think everyone can agree that the Legion's chase team is an absolute banger and the fact that you can change the chase along with the mixtapes that each of the members composed make it by far the best chase team in the entire game in terms of effort put. However, music is subjective and in my personal opinion this chase team is way too much of a banger. And with that, I mean that it doesn't give me horror vibes. When I get chased by a Legion, I want to continue listening to the chase rather than feel scared or feel like someone is chasing me. It's one of the only themes that I am sure players could listen outside of the game and it wouldn't feel weird, making this a full-on song rather than a terror radius. Like, can this even be called a terror radius? The only terror here is, is how much of a banger Michael composed for a bunch of teenagers that the vast majority of the community hates playing against. What is more narcissistic than having an entire orchestra play each time you're chasing someone? That's Wesker's grandiose materialized into a song. It doesn't even sound like a chase theme, it sounds like a final boss battle, exactly what Wesker is. And not only that, 
Whiskers Terry Reduce is 40 meters big, so as a survivor, you will be hearing it more compared to other killers in the cast. It's almost like this choice was made in order to make the cost of the composition more worthwhile rather than actual game balance reasons, because no joke, I am sure this is by far the most complex composition Michael has ever done for Dead by Daylight since it's the longest loop in the game with the most variations. Well, Wesker's theme was good, but I don't think it could have topped what I think is the peak of Resident Evil Chase music. This theme for Nemesis is insane right from the beginning, where it starts with an already imposing theme that keeps building up into the explosion we call the chase. There are alarms blaring constantly, telling you that you are indeed in danger, as you are being chased by a mutant designed explicitly to constantly go after you like a lethal pursuer. And if you play the Resident Evil 3 games, you would know that this theme also fits the original game quite well, as no other chase theme tells me the story of how an entire city is going to get nuked, so you better get out of there in time. Nemesis chase theme is just dramatic and intense in the most perfect way. And now, let's go over my favorite chase theme by far. Unlike a lot of chases that build up and keep adding instruments to their theme, this one has each layer sound different, building up to a story. At first, it starts like something you would hear in a dark westerner. It's high noon and you're walking by yourself around the town, only you notice it's empty, dead, with the only noises being the rattlesnakes. But are they really the only thing alive in this city? You notice something is seriously wrong. It shouldn't be like this. It's almost like someone is watching you. Like this was an ambush. And then, one of the creepiest layer 3 interior reduces hit, where the piano inside the saloon makes unnatural noises. It sounds distorted. And if you are this close to the dead singer, you are in a lot of danger. You cannot stay here and just hide. All you have to do is start running. And finally, the dead singer found you. I absolutely love how the survivors are the only ones that can hear the creepy part of this music, that being the terror radius. As a killer, when you play with that slinger, you hear the absolute banger that is the chase theme. It doesn't sound scary, neither for you or for the survivors. It sounds like a sport, which is exactly how slinger sees the matches. As a survivor, you don't have time to be scared, you need to run and dodge, filled with adrenaline. After all, you're not being chased by a super being like Wesker, Nemesis, Blight, or something paranormal like Spirit, Onryo, or Pyramid Head. You are being chased by an old man with a gun, and this theme perfectly captures it, making it by far my favorite theme to be ever composed for Dead by Daylight, and since its release, I have been waiting for a chase to dethrone it. Maybe the next alien killer might, who knows? Remember, music is subjective, you might think Singer is meh and Singularity is peak. That's the point of these tier lists. It's not an objective one, so feel free to comment whatever your opinion is, and you might change my view on a chase team I rated lower. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day!